How you feeling? Guys, I just got my wheels from Falgen, Falgen Wheels. Never heard of that. Or if you own a Miata, you're probably like, okay, I've heard of that. And they're bigger than those. And they'll be nice for drifting. I have never ordered wheels before. I didn't know that it would come like this inside of a big ass box. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. But, um, I am going to be repainting them and I'm going to put that in a video. First of all, I don't like black on black cars. I think it looks stupid and I do not like black wheels. So this is the only color these came in. And I knew I could give it a little little love and make them look a little a little more me i'm not a very black wheel person <laughs> what is that the center cap oh boom and that's cool they actually left this off so that now I can paint that and paint this without painting the logo. Look how light these are. Uh, 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 uh. We got four of them. Four of them going on the car. What's up lads? Today, um, I'm gonna be painting my wheels for the Miata. This is it. These Fallon works or Falgen or Flangen or I don't even know how to say it works. Uh, w E R K S. <laughs> Duh. Why would it be the W R O? Yeah, whatever. Boom. Yeah. Also, shout out Cool Kicks. This motherfucker is funny as hell. Wait, is that his name? I don't know. See that? It's roughing it up. Yeah, but. After you're completely done scratching this down, you're gonna wanna clean it completely to where you get a paper towel or your finger and everything like that, and it's clean. So, <laughs> you're gonna want it like that. But, yeah, I'll get back to you guys when it's all sanded down. All right, lads, basically I just pour it in the tub, give my soapy water spray and just soak it. Get all nice and wet. Like I did see your mom last night. You're gonna wash it. Until it's completely clean. Alright, now it's all cleaned up. Grab one of these things and just make sure it's clean. clean ready for paint all right so this is the first coat i went a little heavier than i should have you should go a little bit lighter than that i already painted the the inner barrel now i'm painting this so got it in this box because i'm doing it outside don't want it to get all windy and shit and blow shit all over it I've been in like four different settings in this fucking paint video. So I wasn't gonna paint the inner barrel or like this part, but I got bored. I was waiting for it to dry. I was like, fuck it. And just, just sprayed it, bro. But I mean, I'm painting it outside. So I'm getting like, like a little tiny like fiber every uh, here and there, but it's fine. You know, they're. They're just going to be drift spares eventually, you know. It's not a fucking professional paint job. You can't expect perfection. And I wasn't expecting perfection. This is my first time doing... Really painting something that I actually care about. 
and I'd say I'm doing pretty good. So, I did do like four or five coats just because, you know, I don't know, just just because, okay, don't fucking judge and be like, oh, I'm supposed to do three or maybe four. Well, I did five, so suck it. This is this, and I'm gonna go probably, maybe just one coat since it says times two ultra cover, so. Ultra cover it up, or don't cover it all. All right, well, I think it's time for some clear coat. Make sure to shake it. Messy ass fucking shed. This shit needs to be organized. It's not my shed, by the way. It is my mess, though. <laughs> All right, so this is really how I spray it. You want to start... Okay, so here's a good visual. You want to start off the wheel and end off the wheel because you don't want to give it like the starting out spray because the starting out spray is always shit so you want to go tsh -tsh 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 -tsh. sometimes i don't do that though because yeah yeah you get it okay so i guess wow i just did that don't be stupid like me I'm not gonna paint this because it's literally gonna be covered by a tire, so. Okay, I know I still have two more wheels, but actually I'll show you a finished product. Come on, pooper. Come on, pee. Hmm. Ugh. Can't show you the car they're on, but this is the final product. They're a little dirty. They got these smudges from balancing them um, that I'll have to clean off. But, uh, yeah. This is the, uh, the car. They got tires on them. Yeah. Can't show too much of the car because, yeah, you know the bad. All right. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you're gonna go paint something. Don't paint anything you're not supposed to paint. A little rundown real quick of what you need again. You're gonna want those 3M or I think Scotch makes them too. Um, scrub pads, just get the green ones. Don't matter what brand, just get the green ones. The green ones are always the perfect ones. The green ones. Get, a, get probably six of them. I know it might be overkill, but if you're trying to like sand them down quick, after about one side, of the wheel basically worn out and it doesn't sand down as well so just switch to a new one and then do the back side works very nice so what a little lad with a big head of hair those are going to need that um pro paint i'll show you Ugh, still need to clean my mess okay this is the paint basically uh, as you can see i used three cans like here that one literally has a little tiny bit in it that one's completely gone that one's completely gone get three cans it's perfect but if you have bigger wheels i'd probably say four to five cans it just depends really and also how many layers you do i did a lot of coats so this might be overkill i don't know um get one of these oh this is the pad i'm talking about see once it gets like worn down it starts scratching not scratching as well but Get some of this to mask off the, the face that goes onto the hub, you know what I mean? And um, an exacto to like cut the tape. And a nice painting station. If you have a shop, that's perfect. If you have a garage, that's perfect. If you don't, just get a Home Depot box and tape it up. Other than that, that is about it for this one. Thank you for watching my ridiculous videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>